Hi and welcome and thank you so much for joining me for today's Junk Journal with me session. I'm not doing a prompt today, however, I'm going to be using a printout of the prompts to put in an envelope. Today's kind of a special um, episode because I'm doing a collaboration with the wonderful Shua Defi who has a YouTube channel which I'm linking below and she has a channel where she motivates and inspires fellow junk journals, uh, journalers on um, making their own junk journals and what you can put into a junk journal and she currently has a 12 video series some of these are live and actually she's going to be going live 30 minutes after I post this video um, where she will have a live chat and which I will be in as well so it would be lovely if you're watching this now and um, you have time to to stick around to watch hers as well but even if not please go check out her channel and check out her tutorials because they are really awesome now going on into my my video <laughs> um, so I am taking a book page and I had several here that um, I thought would work for this um, pocket and I'm taking all the ones out that I thought might work um, so that it would be easier to make a decision so I think there were six that I took out from this lovely botanical, not botanical, floral um, book that I got at Goodwill a few months ago and I adore this book so much. And um, so the aim was to make a little pocket in the front in which I could put my list of prompts instead of just taping them down with washi like I did for the December daily or, or also actually the junk journal January. So now what I'm doing is I am folding these in the way that they would look approximately so I would know what the image would look like once it's made into an envelope. Trying to eliminate the ones that weren't going to work as well, like this one. I really love this one because it really reminded me of my grandmother who has passed away many, many years ago. But the image was too small and so it didn't really work for this page. This one, on the other hand, I would have cut off the top, so that didn't work either. But this one turned out to be perfect because it had space on the top where I could fold down the flap and it showed just the right amount um, of the flowers when, when folding it into an envelope. So the idea was to, to put the envelope on um, vertically. And so now I am cutting it down um, and I'm just checking that the width would still be enough to, to fit the, um, the prompts. So now I'm just folding it where I need it to be folded and I'm just cutting the top flap off a little bit so it would cover less of the flowers and I love the way that turned out because it has the name of the flower um, right there on the flap, so that was just so perfect. And the colors work so nicely with the cover. So after I had done that, I realized that I had forgotten something very important. I didn't leave any space to make the side flaps to actually close the envelope on the sides. See, now that wouldn't have happened if I would have watched Joie's video before. <laughs> But since I didn't, and I couldn't actually because it wasn't up yet, um, I made this mistake. So please, before you make one, go check out her tutorial. <laughs> so now I'm trying to fix the mistake and I can only do that by making the envelope more narrow. So now I'm just cutting approximately a centimeter off. I'm not cutting them off. I am <laughs> scoring uh, about a centimeter on each side which are going to serve as my flaps, which I will glue down to the front part of the envelope. And now, now I'm just also cutting down the flap and I'm going to again round the corners. And now of course I also had to cut down the other part and I'm making it the exact width 
of the top part um, with the flaps folded in. So I'm just trying to extend that line further down on both sides. And then I'm just going to cut along that line, hoping I did a fairly straight cut so that the gluing work would work out in the end. The pity about these pages is they have such beautiful images on both sides that you always have to sacrifice one for the other. But yeah, <laughs> what can we do? So now I'm just putting glue on the two flaps and I'm just gonna glue that down. And there's our finished envelope. Like how easy was that? I could imagine you could very easily also do this with some lovely Daphne's Diary magazine pages um, or any other nice magazine pages, book pages, anything you have really on hand will work for this technique. And then I decided to um, actually, since I had to make it narrow anyway, I decided to flip it around and put it in horizontally instead. And the prompt list, since it was just copied on regular copy paper, was just too thin. I wanted to give it more body. And then it happened. Oh my God, I totally tore um, where it says Mia Vibes and Kristen Jai. Something, I can't read it. I'm sorry, Kristen. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to make the best of it and just leave it as is. And with the backing, it wasn't so bad. So now just to, to be in sync with the envelope, I wanted to round the edges and ink those up as well. And next I try to, I think I do, I, oh no, 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 sorry. Before I decided to circle the ones that I've already done. So if you've been watching me for a little while, you'll know that I'm not doing these in order and I'm not going to do every one. So I just want to keep track of which one I've, ones I've already done. So I want to circle it. So now I'm just gluing down the envelope. And if I would have thought about it, I would have left one side open to actually put a tag in, have it serve as a tuck spot. But I didn't think of that until I actually put that glue down. <laughs> so too bad for that. But the card fit in very nicely and snugly. I loved how that worked. But um, I thought it would be nicer to have a little tab, which I could pull the card out with. So I wanted to add one. So I got out my lovely vintage cigarette box in which I have these coffee stained um, already prepared tags, no tabs, <laughs> um, which I had written some words on with the computer and I couldn't decide between dream or relax because they both would have worked but in the end I went for this relax one because art journaling or junk journaling should be something relaxing so I thought that was very fitting so I just cut that down so I wouldn't be covering up the prompt title and of course I'm inking this in as well and then I'm just gonna glue that onto the top so that it will pull out nicely. Yep, and there it is. Really like how that turned out. It just makes it kind of more cohesive with the envelope and everything. And now I'm just tracing that little deer that's on the bottom because I thought that was so cute. I wanted it to stand out a little more. So there it is. And yeah, just gonna tuck it into the pocket. And then I didn't know whether I should do something to make that flap stay down, but in the heat of the moment, I couldn't decide on anything. So I just left it as is, and I may do something later or not, I'm not sure. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you, in, you um, enjoyed this, got some inspiration, and I hope you'll join Joa and myself for her video as well as I said I'll be linking linking that down below so have a wonderful day and enjoy your crafting bye